Ray scored four times at the top of the first. They lead it four nothing as we begin the third. We welcome you to our broadcast booth and uh, Angels general manager Billy Epler kind enough uh, to join us. And I'm assuming it's been a, a very hectic uh, last couple of days. Off day yesterday, and uh, you knew that Jerry, uh, Garrett was going to have those tests. Right. And uh, you get the results, and all of a sudden everything starts breaking this morning. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Definitely, I uh, definitely spent my uh, spent a good portion of my day on the phone, responding to some texts and talking to the fellas. Billy, how difficult is that when you have that conversation with Garrett? You know how competitive he is and how, what he's been from, you know, come back from and how well he's thrown the baseball. How hard was that to talk to him about this? Uh, no doubt it is. I mean, you, you know, you feel for him and you feel for for what he's going through and, um, you know, just, the, you know, I think he, he kind of expressed it and, and took it to heart when he said, you know, I feel like I'm letting my teammates down. And these are just one of those circumstantial things. I mean, when you're dealing with high-level athletes and, and guys that throw with that kind of velocity, I mean, there's... There's a lot that goes on the elbow. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Real quick, Vic. I mean, when we talk about it, you see it so often. Do you think it's coming down to the fact that everyone seems to so enamored by the velocity on fastballs overthrowing? You think that comes into play? Not necessarily with Garrett, but a lot of pitchers now in baseball. I think it starts at a really young age. You know, I think it starts with with how many innings guys throw when they're you know they're young teens and 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 you know how they are chasing velocity because. You know, there's an extent of that 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 demands and, and and dictates where you maybe get selected in the draft and what your signing bonus is. And you know, there is a premium on velocity at, at those ages. Um, obviously, not at the major league level, but but you know, when kids are young, that that's what they're chasing. Well, we know the uh, the situation with Garrett, although no nothing definitive has been decided. Right. You see Andrew Heaney on your screen to your right to his right. Uh, what is the prognosis for Andrew is what's the, the extent of the damage and, and the plan for the Angels and the lefty? Well with Andrew, I mean we opted uh, you know together to kind of do uh, you know the conservative care and go that route So what he what he underwent was a PRP injection um, and, and so we're just letting some time take place um, Or time elapsed so that we can you know allow that injection and allow the, the healing properties of the injection to kind of do their work um, and see see how that comes um, you know he'll probably pick up a baseball somewhere in the six to eight week mark um, is what I'm thinking and uh, we'll test it at that point and, and see what we got and Tyler Skaggs dealing with the bicep tendonitis so uh, where is he at as far as uh, potentially helping this ball club in the immediate future Tyler will get tested on Monday um, so he had a he had a week off to focus really on the strength um, and uh, and just build, uh, you know, build some of the, the the muscles around the shoulder, and so he'll get tested clinically um, on on Monday, and then we'll we'll go from there. Well, Billy, what are your options now? You know, obviously you have some options down in the minor leagues. Are there other options you might explore outside of the organization? You know, my you know my front office, the uh, you know the pro scouting group, and we're turning over every rock and, and trying to trying to see what what we might be able to do. Make you know making a trade at this time of year is really really difficult to do. Um, and uh, you know when you talk about some of the free agent guys that might still be out there you know that they're they're not exactly ready to just to drop right into a rotation they're, they need to go and make starts in the minor leagues and they need to build themselves up a little bit um, before they could you know step on the stage but you know internally Nate Smith is a guy that uh, you know our AAA staff and our pitching coordinator have spoken very highly of um, and then we went out and signed Kyle Kendrick late um, in spring training just to you know to, to build depth for for this type of uh, situation so we'll uh, we'll circle the wagons with the coaching staff and, and see what presents itself from an organizational standpoint philosophically is this uh, you are dealt this type of a hand and unfortunately for the angels you thought we had depth going into spring training and you, right. you never know with injuries obviously but it's played out this way for the angels can you can you force feed younger guys outside of the triple a that maybe you kind of push them along a little bit more so to try to help you uh, towards the end of the season uh, we'll, we still want to be in a point where the guys that, that we do push um, you know have, have performed and warranted um, you know that push because you want to give guys every tool in the toolbox every weapon they have sure. uh, you know to have success up here well i know you've been asking uh, or been asked quite a few questions and, and the like with the uh, with uh, having to deal with the pitching, Rasmus is coming out of the game. Mike Sosha pulling the trigger after 45 pitches. Jose Alvarez will come on here. It's 5 nothing. We're going to step away. Do you mind sticking around some more so we can continue I'll to grill you here? Of course, I'll we're, stick around. We're going to ask you to show, you, show us your cards here momentarily. All right. 5 nothing Rays. We're in the third.